Is it time to buy or sell Apple stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Apple. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, 30th of May, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 29th, 2024, our system has ranked Apple as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 3.36. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 0.53%. This translates to an average return of 0.26% per day since it was listed as a buy candidate. The stock lies in the upper part of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader, as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $194.34 will firstly indicate a stronger rate of rising. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 11.61% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 1.69% and 13.39%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a negative 3.04% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between negative 17.23% and negative 0.99%. This translates to a price range of $158.32 to $189.40 after a year. Our latest daily update for Apple includes the headline, Green Day on Thursday for Apple. The Apple stock price gained 0.526% on the last trading day, Thursday 30th of May, 2024, rising from $190.29 to $191.29. It has now gained four days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 0.81% from a day low at $190.63 to a day high of $192.18. The price has risen in eight of the last 10 days and is up by 0.83% over the past two weeks. Volume fell on the last day by negative 3 million shares, and in total, 49 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $9 billion, $400 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $199.62 and the lowest price was $164.08. Currently, the price is 4.17% or $8.33 below the 52-week high and 16.20% or $36.97 below the all-time high on August 30, 2018, when the price reached $228.26. Analyst Ratings on Wednesday, May 29, 2024, it was reported that Tigress Financial gave AAPL a strong buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, May 28, 2024, it was reported that CFRA gave AAPL a buy grade with a hold action. On Friday, May 24, 2024, it was reported that Piper Sandler gave AA a buy grade with an upgrade action. On Friday, May 24, 2024, it was reported that Wedbush gave AAPL a buy grade with an upgrade action. On Thursday, May 23, 2024, it was reported that Wedbush gave AAPL a outperform grade with a hold action.
Analysts have given Apple stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Apple. There are mixed signals in the stock today. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, May 21, 2024, and so far it has fallen negative 0.551%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. The Apple stock holds buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals, where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $190.24 and $179.56. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Volume fell during the last trading day, despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price, and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal, pivots, sell signal seven days ago, Bollinger, buy signal 15 days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal three days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal 21 days ago, the relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 20 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal 22 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 20 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 8 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support risk, and stop-loss for Apple. Apple finds support from accumulated volume at $183.38, and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day, and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $1.55 between high and low, or 0.81%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.6%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Apple, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively normal P.E. ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2024 is expected on August 1, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.33. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Apple. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Apple is at $192.35. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Apple encounters its first support level at $183.38. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Apple from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On 2024 May 15th, Condo Chris conducted an insider sell of 4,999 shares of common stock. On 2024 May 10th, Adams Catherine L. conducted an insider sell of 1,850 shares of common stock. On 2024 April 15th, Condo Chris conducted an insider buy of 8,119 shares of common stock. On 2024 April 15th, Condo Chris conducted an insider sell of 3,120 shares of common stock. 
On 2024 April 15th, Condo Chris conducted an insider sell of 1,899 shares of restricted stock unit. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of negative 23.629. Overall, insiders purchased 1,927,641 shares and sold 3,034,076 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $185.04, negative 3.27%. This stock has medium daily movements, resulting in medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 28 days ago. Is Apple stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive, and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Apple stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, May 31st, we expect Apple to open up 0767 and start trading at $191.37. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.